All right, so I finally found a solution to this one thing I wanted to do on Mac for VS Code. So I'll show you that here in a second. And if you're curious why I'm wearing a parka, it's because I just got back inside and I'm still cold. So, all right, so I've had this, this issue for a while um, and it, it seems pretty simple, uh, but what it is, let me drag over a window so we can see this, is I want to be able to open a folder from Finder directly inside of VS Code. So if I right click on one of these code projects, there's not really an open with type thing. I think that's kind of built into, uh, you can let me know on Windows, the open with, and you can choose the app. Um, but I don't have that here. Uh, so what I did, well, actually, uh, shout out to Tech Gadget, who was in my chat the other day in Twitch, found this article and uh, showed it to me, which was great. So this is from an article, Open Anything in VS Code Using a Mac OS Quick Action from Jim Bennett. So what this allows us to do is add a quick action, which will be inside of this thing, quick action here. And uh, that will give us an open in VS Code option. So let's look at what uh, what this is. So he uses Automator for this. And Automator is something that uh, seems really cool and really powerful. And I have done almost nothing with um, with Automator. But you can do automated tasks of some sort. And I think they're like really powerful. I just don't know them all that well. So anyway, uh, we want to create a quick action here. And it'll give us uh, give us these inputs. And uh, let's see, I have to kind of go through and, and follow what he does. So you want to set it to receive the current files and folders uh, into the arg. So you can come down to the uh, should receive and get uh, files or folders. All right, that's good. And you can set an icon if you want. I don't really need one. And then add a new shell script with this action and set the uh, pass input as or pass input to be as arguments. And I didn't quite uh, know how to do this, but you can search for shell script. So even with that description, I didn't really know where to find this originally, but shell script. And then I will paste this in. And this is going to do this inside of ZSH, which is what it is by default on my computer. Uh, you may have bash on there as your default, so you can select whichever shell you have. And then we pass the input uh, as argument. So we'll grab basically the file or actually the folder name as the input to this quick action. And then I will run this thing, which does a open in VS Code. And I think that is it. So we'll go and well, another thing I saw or I didn't see is a save, but you can do command S or do like a file save. And I'll just call this open in VS Code. Cool. So that seems like it should work. Let's go back to our finder. Let's right click on dev setups, for example. Much more to come on the dev set setups project this year. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but we get this open in VS Code icon and this should open uh, VS Code here in a second. There we go, cool. So it opened that up uh, just perfectly. That is so cool to me. Uh, I needed this, like alternatively, what I was doing was opening up my terminal and going to it and then um, typing in the code command. So code and then the folder name and or um, opening this thing. Let's see, what am I saying? Opening this thing and so opening VS Code and then going to open folder. This is so much easier. This is so nice. A quick little hack. Uh, but really, uh, really powerful here. And I'm kind of curious to, to do more with Automator in the future. All right, so that is my uh, new favorite quick little hack inside of inside of Mac for VS Code, not necessarily inside of VS Code. Uh, I'm curious, have you used Automator before? Do you have any other automation things or actions and stuff that you've added in your Mac? I'd love to hear them. I'd love to see them. It looks like there's kind of an infinite world of possibilities. It looks super cool. But this will help me out for now. Hopefully it will help you out. Thanks as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, like it, subscribe to the channel, check me out in future videos. Thanks again for being here and I'll catch you in the next one.